of uh, October 2023. Christian College. This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. looks like it's not working the voicemail let's try it again hi this is andrew walsh i'm calling from congressman jamal bowman's office about uh the request for help that you left with us we need to um discuss that request so when you get a chance please do give us a call back thank you Jose? Good afternoon, this is Congressman Bowman's office. Good afternoon, uh, this is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. May I speak to Andrew, please? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Thank you. Hello? Hi, this is Andrew Walsh. Um, I believe I left a voicemail with you the other day about the request for help that you left with us. Yes, yes, good evening, Mr. Walsh. Uh, this is Professor Martinez. Uh, you said that uh, you wanted me to call you back? Uh, yeah, you, you had left a request uh, for assistance, correct? Uh, the, the Congressman uh, Bauman called us and said uh, if we needed anything at all uh, to call him back and let him know. So we did and then you call those back. But I was wondering, um, uh, I know he's a congressman and he has federal jurisdiction, uh, but how come um, the congressman here from uh, Connecticut uh, did not call, I mean, the congresswoman is a woman, did not call us. Uh, we went to her office and f filled out paperwork and she didn't help us in anything else, uh, in anything at all. Um, how come Mr. Bauman is uh, wanting to help us if he lives, he, his jurisdiction is, well, he has federal jurisdiction, but his district, district is um, Westchester County, New York, and we are in Connecticut. So um, we are only able to assist constituents. Um, so I know you're saying that you didn't get a response from your congresswoman, but um, you need to proceed with trying to to engage with with the congresswoman because um, it's not allowed for us to um, do work uh, for them for people. So um, I advise you to keep calling them. Um, if you'd like, we can. Um, I'll take your information, and if you feel that you have been trying and trying to you know, get a response from them and you haven't done it, if they haven't done it yet, um, I can, I can flag it to them if you'd like. Uh, yes, if you want, uh, because we got a response uh, from the Congresswoman here uh, in Connecticut, and the response was, uh, we're not going to help you in any way, shape or form. Uh, so what was the, con I mean, why did they say that? What's the context? Uh, we asked her um, to help us in a violation of the United States Constitution by government employees uh, from the Social Security Administration office who uh, accused, falsely accused me of going to a Social Security Administration office and committing crimes, you know, throwing uh, chairs at police officers and uh, threatening them uh, with death uh, threats. And then, uh, according to them, uh, they allowed me to go home, did not arrest me on the spot, and then a few days later went to pick me up. 
according to the police officers, uh, which I had reported for fraud and corruption before they accused me of um, uh, threatening them and trying to disarm them or uh, things like that, disorderly conduct. And therefore, uh, without taking me to uh, a trial or due process, taking me before a judge or a United States court, they uh, prohibited me from going to any Social Security Administration office in the United States without being uh, guilty or uh, without having my right of replica uh, and without them having any evidence because they have security cameras in all Social Security Administration offices that I have gone to. And when I asked them for evidence, physical evidence from the security cameras, they refused to give it, which means, which is indicative that they are lying because I recorded them while they were committing fraud at the Social Security Administration office and gave that to government employees who um, prosecuted people who were impersonating doctors, psychiatrists, nurses, and other people at um, an agency, a bogus agency that used to call, used to be called uh, FedCap We Care. So I got a lot of people got arrested, I guess, and they uh, charged them with healthcare fraud because they were from third world countries like Africa, India, and Haiti, which are very poor country, and they were impersonating doctors and psychiatrists and nurses, and I videotaped them and gave that to I uh, to people that I know, used that, and they dismantled the clinic that I uh, went to investigate at. Uh, okay, so um, I'm not entirely sure I understand because that seems like there's a lot going on. Um, however, uh, as I said, um, we are not, you know, it's not within the rules for us to um, assist a resident of Connecticut. Yes, I know. That's why I, I found that strange that he called us here because we used to live in, in um, Westchester County um, about 10 years ago, 10 years in, in well, uh, less than 10 years, uh, 2016. It's been, <laughs> it's been a while and he still has uh, us as living in Westchester County. That's another problem because people have been impersonating us and defrauding the United States government through the Department of Social Services with our social security numbers in our identities at Westchester County. And so he called us believing that we lived there and we don't live there since 2016. Uh, okay, so I don't know why you were contacted. Um, I think if it was understood by, uh, you know, our office that you live in Connecticut, you would not have been contacted. So. Um, I do think that was a, a, a misunderstanding. Yes. Uh, so you might want to take us uh, out of your uh, list as living in Westchester County because we live uh, under the district of Johanna Hayes, the congresswoman here, who told us that she was not going to help us with the corruption uh, case that we have and that uh, she, she was going to allow them to continue to list me as an FBI uh, offender when uh, she knows that uh, I didn't commit the crimes that they accused me of after I recorded them committing fraud and people got fired, employees, government employees got fired. Okay, yeah, and I am, I am sorry you're going through, um, I guess it sounds like this uh, difficult experience. However, because you live in Connecticut, need to need to um you know approach the proper representatives and authorities in Connecticut about this do you I know, know you tried I get yeah. that but we cannot force them to do anything um we don't have that kind of authority so I am sorry that this maybe isn't the answer you were expecting or um you know I'm not sure whether you were just calling to you know ask how you were contacted or why you were contacted um, but 
we have to defer to the you know our counterparts in your state because as i said you are not um you're not a constituent of the 16th district of new york Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, I just called to let you know to uh, take us uh, uh, off your list because we don't live in Westchester County anymore. Even though people who have been, who are defrauding the United States government with our social security numbers and identities through the Department of Social Services there are living in Westchester County. So um, you might want to take off of uh, your list. And uh, also, now that uh, he called your congressman, um, I was surprised too because he called after my elderly, disabled, chronically ill mother with two cancer operations and epilepsy. Uh, her federal uh, benefits were um, taken away from her after she reported children trafficking by high government officials like local, state, and federal judges and district attorneys in the Bronx. So after that, uh, they took away her uh, home care Medicaid and also her Medicare um, benefits. So with epilepsy and two cancer operations, being a cancer patient, they left her without insurance. Um, yeah, and I am sorry that, um, you know, this is something that your family is going through, but I just, um, Unfortunately, can't provide. We can't provide assistance to residents of Connecticut. I know, I know. But uh, do take us off your list because we are not uh, the people who are uh, living in Westchester County. Other people are living there with our, with our names and social security numbers. Uh, and the uh, Kevin McGuire was the one who sold them our identities. The you, the one that used to be the commissioner of DSS, the Department of Social Services in Westchester County. He's now retired with a bunch of um, money, a lot of money, and he was also involved in the trafficking of children trafficking. I mean, the, in the trafficking of children in the United States uh, about um, eight years ago or so. He was in that business for about 30 years in New York City, and then he, he was transferred to Westchester County, where he continued his criminal activity. Uh, so you might want to take us off your list. But thank you so much, Mr. Walls. You have you have a blessing rest of the day. God bless. Okay, likewise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.